Hi everyone, this is Gail from Gail Julie Makes. I hope you're all well. Um, just here to do a bit of an experiment today, working with the gel plate and some pan pastels. Um, these are palette pastels actually by Jane Davenport that I'm going to be using today. But so, what we're going to do then is another experiment as well. I have just got some Nouveau pens. Um, so these are alcohol inks basically. And I've been wanting to try these out for a couple of weeks now. Um, just as an alcohol ink piece, but I thought, well, um, why not, sorry, that's not focusing very well, Black Smoke, I've got um, Dark Slate, and I've got Sandcastle in case I decide to do any of the skin tones with that, but I think I will just use the, uh, the pastels. Um, yeah, so I wanted to try these, because obviously these work like a normal alcohol ink on the plate, as long as you use the blending solution. I won't be using blending solution today, because I'm going to use these as the actual markers, but... Um, you know, I thought it would be interesting to try them. Just get me, because obviously these have got the. I don't know if you've used Nouveau markers before, but these have got the the two tips. You've got like the thick chisel tip there, and you've got like the uh, just the. Sorry, I'm not very much in the shot, am I? <laughs> you've got like the uh, the sort of rounder nib there as well. Okay, so we'll give it a go. Let's get on then. So what I'm going to do is have a go at drawing this. Um, I may speed this up. In fact, I probably will. And um, then we'll see what we're going to do at the next stage. Okay, so I'm just going to draw with my black smoke, and I possibly may use my Posca pen as well. Um, this is the um, 0.7 millimeter nib. It's one of my favourites. So let's give it a go. So I haven't used this before. It, I may not like the chunkiness of it. It may be okay. I don't know. So we'll just have to see. We have that, which I'll be honest, you know, doesn't let's put it to this way a bit, doesn't really fill me with that much joy. <laughs> it doesn't look quite as cool as it does on here. So what I'm going to do is, um, anyway, it, we're working on it, so it's fine. We we never give up on things, do we? So I'm going to keep the picture here and some somehow weigh it down. There we go, and. I've got my, I think it's because it's on yellow as well, it doesn't really help, it's got that sort of yellow tinge. So what I'm going to do then now is I am going to get in there with the pan pastels. The thing with pan pastels and palette pastels is that you've got to think about the fact that um, your, so this ink layer is going to be our, first, our top layer basically. So any colours we add now um, are going to be, because it's all opaque, we need to put like the colours that will be on top. So effectively, the lip colour, the eye colour, the the sort of eye shadow colour, and then we go for the skin tones at the end. So I know it's kind of sounds strange, but you're basically working backwards on it. I'm using what I've got at the moment, as you know, we all have to do that sometimes. There's so many art supplies out there that we want. So um, I'm just going to use some makeup sponges that I've got at the moment. And we're going to obviously lay that colour down. Now I haven't got that bright sort of colour, so I'm just going to use what I've got. So I think I'm going to go for, you can mix them actually. So I might go for a bit of the purple and a bit of the red. Although I don't, this isn't going to be that easy. No, I think that's too light. But it's on there now. So... 
it's just a little bit more purple to that. Okay, so this is the next stage. Oops, sorry, a bit wobbly. What I've decided to do is go around the, just darken the edge, basically. So all this sort of area, um, really dark, to really pull out the whites in the pictures. I wanted a circle round about the same sort of size as the actual picture, so I can mask it off initially. I may stamp into the picture a little bit okay so that basically can now act as a cover that's it a cover to our 
our main picture. So what I'm going to do, I mean you may move it around a bit so you can just about see the edge because you, you know you want the darkest area in here really I would say on this one potentially. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my blending tool and I'm, so that's uh, my very dirty smoothie blender from Lavinia. Um, and I think I've got medieval blue, I think I'm going to use medieval blue. Right, let's just tidy up a bit first. I am the master of not tidying up and then I've spent ages tidying up at the end. And then, you know, I just want to go and have a cup of tea, so, and let the cat sit on my lap for a bit. Right, and then I'm great at dropping stuff as well, just, I'm sure you already know this. So, it's just basically inking it up on my smoothie, and then what I'm going to do is kind of find my natural edge, for example, here. And I'm going to start blending, blending it out like this. So like I say, you can just keep moving the actual mask around till you're happy with where the circle part is. And what I do is I start blending from the actual mask outwards. So obviously it's picking up any residual acrylic that's coming through, but you know, that's fine. Uh... Yeah, okay, so that is that is that so far. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I will have some darker areas still. Just do a few more dark bits to go around. There we go, I think that's about what I wanted. I'm going to use some of these. I'm kind of just throwing out lots of different ones here. That might work. Let you in on a secret. I've still got a Lavinia chocolate here, yes! I'll probably, it probably won't be there for very long. I'm sure I'll probably eat it by the end of the day. Rumble. Right, okay, I think, I think that's going to do it, there's tons there. Right, okay. So, I've got all these lovely foliage stamps, and I am going to, let's pick some colours then. So we've got Verdant, we've got, so, Versifying Claire Verdant, we've got uh, Versifying Claire Twilight, we've got Rainforest, um, we've got um, Warm Breeze, sorry, Warm Breeze, we've got Monarch, um, obviously we've already used the Medieval Blue, we've got Nocturne, we've got Shading Lane, I think I'll leave out Morning Mist and Glamorous. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is build up foliage around the edge of the picture basically and probably some in the middle as well. The great thing about these stamps as well is, um, is it winterberry? No, sorry, wildberry. The great thing about these is that you can kind of place them as well. Um, so you can sort of place your place your stamps. Although, do I want to get out glamorous? Because I'm just thinking. Because I've got the red there, maybe I do want to use Glamorous after all. Maybe I do, but maybe I want to use the smaller stamp just to be, you know, sure. So basically I'm inking up the stamp. Now I haven't used this one before, so what I'm going to do is, I've got a little notebook. 
excuse me, I've got a little notebook that I like to use um, to put my new stamps in just to test them out. So I'm going to use it on here and just see what it looks like. I do like to, because um, it's new as well, I do like to prime stamps, just, you know, use them a few times first, just to see how they look. What you can do as well is mask off an area, so I'm going to bring this in. Because actually this time, I don't think I want it coming in from the edge, but I probably will on some of the others. So I'm just going to bring that in there, I think. Now, because the card is in the way, sometimes it doesn't stamp quite as much as you want to when you mask it off. So you're better doing it with paper. Okay, that looks okay. Try it again. This time I'm just going to rub off the end look so I'm not, not really getting anything on the edge. So we'll have this one. Actually, let's just rub a bit more off there. So I'm just rubbing a bit of it off just so it, so it doesn't go too much over the edge. And I'm going to have that one there, I think. Okay, what do we think? How's that looking? Not too bad. Might look better if you uh, actually, I'm thinking about it. Might look better if we'd done it with black and then gone over a little bit with the red, or even let's just see because now we've got a bit of both colours. Look, let's just try it. Let's try up here. Um, I think we'll just get a bit off there. Look. It's all experimentation. All experimenting. So we'll kind of bring it. Don't want to get too much of that flower, but we'll bring it down about here. Be careful as well when you're doing something like this that you don't get, you know, ink on your fingers and thumbs and then end up touching your main area. result here then um, there were a lot of um, problems with this video a lot of glitches some of the uh, frames froze so I couldn't necessarily sort of talk you through some of the sections I had to put uh, some music over the top just to because that was the only way I could export it with music um, um, it's complicated anyway but 
this is the end result. So, I mean, some of you may prefer the actual tutorial with a lot of music um, and some people may uh, miss the dialogue to say what's going on. But I hope it's, you know, pretty much gave you a general idea. I will talk a little bit more about the one on the right in a minute because I lost the footage for that one, but I will explain it to you. It's fairly simple once you've watched the original one. So the one on the left there is my final finished piece. I wish I'd stopped earlier when it, um, when it was a bit more simple, but... It is what it is. <laughs> it's nice to have that footage anyway, so I can go back and maybe recreate it another time. So this is the um, the one that I couldn't show you step by step. But all I've done basically is used the Nocturne versus Fine Claire instead of the... Um, the other one that I used last time, which was Medieval Blue, that was one. Yeah, so I've used Nocturne uh, all around the edge using the mask to create that like the last time. And then I've used a tree stamp in Nocturne as well over the top, just coming in from the edges. And then again, I've gone over the top in Nocturne and blended around the edge just to sort of really draw you into that focal point in the middle. I did decide on this one that I wanted to keep it simple, so there's no stamping on this one at all on the face. I love that ghost print effect, so I wanted to keep that. I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that it's provided you with a bit of inspiration. If you would like to see more gel plate tutorials and Lavinia Stamps tutorials, please do consider subscribing to my channel. It's a very small channel, but we're hoping to grow and grow. Um, we've got nearly 500 subscribers at the moment and we really do appreciate each and every one of you. So that would be great. If you would like to, um, click on the po profile picture at the top left there. That will take you through to the channel. And then if you hit the bell and all notifications, you'll get uh, informed whenever there's a new video out. And bottom left on the screen there is a, another video that I think you might be interested in. So please do go along and have a look at that one. Anyway, take care of yourselves, guys. Keep crafting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.